Hello and thank you all for joining us today for our live webcast, How to Use Free and Paid Recruiting Tools on LinkedIn. My name is Isabel Pryor and I'm on the Talent Solutions team here at LinkedIn based in our Sydney office. Thanks all for joining us and um, before we get started, I have a couple of housekeeping items. Um, you're all muted by default, so if you have any questions or any comments, please enter them into the Q&A box. Simply click um, on the little Q&A tab at the bottom of your screen, and then you can send me your questions throughout the presentations, and I will ask our speakers at the end of the session. Um, you can also switch to full screen mode if you just hit the little um, top right corner where you can see the slides, so you can enlarge them. And most importantly, we will be sharing the slides and also the recording from today's session with all of you. So keep an eye out for an email in the coming days and you'll get a link where you can download the presentation or you can share the recording with your team. And I'm happy to introduce you to today's presenters, Laura Carr and Tracy Brown. Hi, Laura. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Hi Isabel. Thanks for joining us today. Um, now, can you please tell us a bit about yourself, what you're doing here at LinkedIn, and then get us started? Hi everyone, um, my name is Laura Carr. I am a relationship manager with staffing agencies here in Sydney. I work with small to medium businesses and I'm joined by the lovely Tracy who will tell you a bit about herself now. Thanks so much Laura. Love being called lovely on a Wednesday morning. Um, my name is Tracy Brown. I'm a customer success manager here at LinkedIn and I work with our staffing agencies across Australia and New Zealand, ensuring that our clients are getting the most value from the products they're investing in with LinkedIn. So I'm going to get started. So for those of you who know and are familiar with LinkedIn, you know it is the world's largest professional network on the internet and we have more than 467 million plus members, over 200 countries and we're still growing at two new members a second. So you do the math on that um, just within the next, the next hour of our presentation, 45 minutes. So LinkedIn's mission is to connect the world's professionals and to make them more productive and successful. So let's take a look at why people actually join LinkedIn in the first place. So they join for three main reasons. First of all, they join to build their professional identity and rarely showcase to the world who they are and what they're all about. Secondly, they'll join to network and connect with others so they can discover new career opportunities. Lastly, they'll build on, on what they know and really gain industry insights so that they can accomplish more in their careers. So I guess you're wondering, how does this relate to you? So for you, the recruiter, LinkedIn is the only place on the internet where you can recruit both your passive and your active candidates. So by passive, we mean those people who are not actively looking for a role. So as you can see on the graph on your screen, traditional job boards will only provide you access to approximately those 30% of active candidates. LinkedIn will provide you access to both the active and the passive candidates. So that's 70% that you'll see up on your screen. Um, and those are the candidates who are not actually you know, applying for roles and being active on job boards. We'll also give you the tools to reach out to them directly, even if they're outside of your network. So let's take a look at how agencies use their paid LinkedIn solutions. So our solutions are distinct and powerful and can really help you grow your business in three main categories. So our first category is for prospecting. So our solutions will help you to reach new business leaders and to drive more business development leads and essentially to help grow your revenue. Secondly, we'll be able to engage with those passive candidates that we spoke about earlier and really increase your candidate quality leads. It'll help you to get in front of mobile members by their new feed as well. So our second category and the one you'll see in the middle is, your, is our marketing category. So our marketing solutions will really help you to showcase your credibility so that you can build trust with your candidates, clients, and consultants. These solutions will allow members to view your job and to research your firm. Our third category, and likely the one you're quite familiar with, and maybe the reason you're here today, is recruiting, which works in, well in conjunction with the other two that I've just mentioned, and will really help you to close the loop on the leads you've generated from the first two solutions. So we'll help you to, act to, to access both active and passive talent and give you the tools to be able to reach out to both your candidates and clients directly, as well as 
potential consultants for your business. I'm going to hand it over to Laura now. So, to better understand how these tools work together, think of them as a funnel. The prospecting and marketing solutions drive ideal candidates and clients into and down the funnel, and the recruiting solutions help convert those leads. So if used in the right way, our tools can get you more leads with little or no effort needed. So given the majority of today's attendees fall into two categories, so we've got agency owners and agency recruiters who work in small to medium firms, you all have two fundamental things in common. You want to source passive candidates more effectively and efficiently, and you want to build your brand to attract more quality candidates and clients. In fact, to prove this, LinkedIn conducted a survey to gain recruiting insights for staffing professionals. Based on our research, 49% of staffing decision makers want to find better ways to source passive candidates. And 72% of staffing decision makers say branding it has a significant impact to grow their business. So let's take a look at those two areas. So let's start with addressing the branding challenge and identifying ways you can help solve this problem. The current state of the market is tough, as you all know. It's a candidate market. And with that, you have to make sure your firm is top, and, top of mind and front and center when candidates are looking for new jobs. However, we've found that agencies have struggled to develop an online presence and evolve with the era of social recruiting. We conducted some more research and only 18% of respondents reported that they think of staffing firms when looking for a new job. Here's another learning from the survey. Um, it's not a question of bad experiences or, experiences or results when candidates do use agencies because 74% report having a good experience and of those interviewed, 41% were offered a job. So it's really a question of awareness both of the agency and the roles you're looking to fill. As you can see, only 64% of staffing firms have a brand strategy. So if brand is not a priority for you right now, let's change that. We've found that firms who invest in developing a strong brand get the most business, because the stronger your brand is, the easier it is for candidates and clients to say yes to you. Great. So let's take a look at the tools you referred to earlier, and it really starts with building your brand. So you can build your brand in the following three ways. This is through your LinkedIn company page, your status updates, LinkedIn groups, as well as LinkedIn posts. These products are fantastic and are free. They're really going to help you to set up the foundations of your brand. You'll see on the screen there the paid products are highlighted in blue, and these will truly enhance your brand presence. So let's take a look at company and career pages first. So our first product called our LinkedIn company page, as I mentioned, it's free and it's an easy way to give your business the opportunity to tell your company's story, engage with your followers, share career opportunities, and scale that word of mouth. It will encourage your audience to make contact with your company and perceive your company as a trusted resource. So if you haven't created your company page or you'd like to optimize your existing company page, I'm about to give you some tips. And as mentioned, these are absolutely free, so get right in. First of all is your company sub summary. This will allow you to showcase what you're all about and give candidates, clients, and consultants a summary of what it is you do and what it is to like with you or for you. Your hero image, now this is at the top. As we know, a picture says a thousand words. So grab attention with an engaging image. Your status updates, these are free updates that Laura is going to talk more about in a moment. Um, however, they will allow you to share relevant content with your followers. The other, the other uh, free products we have are showcase pages as well as many, many more features. So as you will see on the right-hand side, we have our paid services sponsored updates and career pages. Laura is going to go into more detail on the sponsored updates. However, let's take a deep dive into your career pages as well as the benefits of the career page. So we often get asked here at LinkedIn, what's the difference between your career page and your company page? And don't they do the same thing? 
you know, a fair question. Um, there are a lot of similarities, but in terms of their format, but in terms of their purpose, they're quite different. So your career page will allow your company to become a destination point. It will allow you the freedom to highlight to your audience your culture and explain to them what it is you're all about. It's a great way to attract both candidates, clients and consultants. With the advanced features of the career page, you can decide what it is your audience sees. So let's say you recruit within IT as well as sales and marketing. You may find that your IT, you don't want your IT professionals to be seeing the same things as sales and marketing. So you have the ability to really make that content relevant to them and what they see. This will really engage them. So take a look at the difference between the image of the free company page on the left and then the career page on the right. So you will notice our new next generation of career page has three distinct tabs. We're going to talk about the second one across, which is actually highlighted on your screen. And this is our Jobs tab. This will give candidates a personalized, personalized job recommendations so they can discover and apply to even more job listings that match their skills and meet their career goals and objectives. The last tab, the What We Do tab, allows you, this is a place that will allow you to showcase your candidates, clients, and prospective consultants. Um, what it is like to work with you or for you, and they're actually also going to be able to view your employee testimonials. What are we hearing from a lot of clients that it's really hard to find great consultants these days, so that, that's really, really going to amplify your brand and make the, the top consultants want to work with you. The last year, paid career page will allow you to access robust in-product analytics and let you track and improve and share your goals. You can also access page trends and viewership, as well as benchmark yourself against your competitors. So in summary, your LinkedIn career page will help you to better tell your story to the right audience, which we believe is really important. It will let your employees tell the story of your company culture, business, or who you're looking to hire in your video testimonials. It will allow you to get your jobs out to more people, so I've featured your jobs Sorry, haven't had my morning coffee yet. So this will allow you to feature your job um, and really prospect your interested candidates on your career page. There are a number of great enhancements on your career page, but don't forget, it all starts with your company page. So if you haven't already set this up, I highly recommend that you do this and get started now. So I'm going to pass it over to Laura now to talk more through your free as well as your sponsored updates. So, um, an impactful and free feature on the company page is your status updates section. It allows you to directly engage with viewers and followers of your company page. You can post and share items like company news, promotions, relevant industry articles and videos. Any posts you publish through the company updates section are showcased when someone views your company page. Not only that, but they will be visible on the newsfeed of anyone who is currently following your company page. Before going into any more detail about status updates, I want to take a step back and talk about the importance of company page followers. I get this question asked so many times. So followers could be potential candidates, clients, or consultants who have taken the action to follow your company page. Therefore, they're signing up to hear from you. Recruitment agencies' aim should be to build up followers that will be relevant for their business. This then leads me back to status updates. Imagine you've taken the time to build up a relevant follower base of potential candidates, clients, and consultants. By posting regular status updates, you are engaging with this audience and ensuring you are top of mind and agency of choice. The aim of status updates is the ability to contact one to many, so scaling your recruiting efforts. Some more important tips when it comes to status updates. So make a plan first and foremost. Don't post for the sake of posting. Outline your target audience. Decide what content would be relevant to your target audience. And finally, implement a content calendar. Companies should post as many status updates as your content supports. You'll reach more of your audience and extend your reach as you post more often. Companies that post 20 times a month, on average, reach 60% of their followers with one or more updates, and 20% of followers are typically reached 
with just one status update. So when would you need to sponsor updates, I hear you ask? So if you've been posting regular status updates on your company page, but can't seem to reach all of your target audience, this, is, um, this would be when you should sponsor your content. Another example would be if you're starting a new market, such as recruitment of, say, Java developers, and you don't have a strong network, you could sponsor your content so it features on the news feeds of Java developers, say, in Sydney, driving this audience back to your company page and increasing your brand awareness within this target market. Sponsored content allows you to reach your target audience that are outside of your current network. Speaking about content and, um, and planning, groups are a good resource for just that. If you're struggling to come up with content that would resonate with, say, Java developers as an example, why not find a group of Java developers on LinkedIn and see what topics they seem to be talking about or are interested in? If you want to increase brand awareness, you can also interact in these groups and give your opinion on certain topics. And finally, you can also create groups. So if you want to lead discussions or share insights amongst your target audience, you can do just that. Again, continuing the theme of talking about content, um, the best performing content is authentic published content. And I know a lot of people say, um, especially my clients say, that they don't have the time for this. If you start small and maybe aim to do one a quarter to begin with, um, you'll see massive success from it. It's very easy to, to publish. As you can see on the home page, um, you, you can post your own content by just clicking write an article. It's a clever way of becoming a thought leader within your industry, and it helps you build a strong brand. So let's move on to the recruiting tools. Already we've covered company page, status updates, career page, sponsored updates, groups, and publishing. Now I'm going to pass over to Tracy, and she'll um, help you how to convert those leads using our recruiting tools. Awesome. Thanks, Laura. So we're going to take at some of the LinkedIn products that can really help you to attract and engage both your active and passive um, target audience. On LinkedIn, you have the ability to mention job vacancies that you're recruiting for through your own personal status updates, but this will only reach your connections and can give your connections quite a bad experience, especially if that's all you're updating your network on. So we have two job options on LinkedIn, and these are um, both delivered to your target audience, so that being your active and passive audience. So we have our job posts and our job slots. Now the key differences are is that a job site will allow you to effectively own that piece of LinkedIn real estate for an entire year. So you can edit and update the slot whenever you like and select any location across the globe. So if you manage to fill your vacancy in 10 days time, so let's say you put it up in 10 days time, you've filled it, you can update that job with a new role. You could change them daily if you like, not a recommended best practice, but you understand what I mean. Our LinkedIn jobs will also offer you the following features. So you will see there on the left hand side, um, our job, jobs will really target top candidates. Um, and as you, as you may be aware, our job slots are dynamic. So what this means is they actually get pushed out to the relevant candidates um, depending on their skill set. So it's not like an active job board whereby um, they will go and search for a role. So next up, we will have featured jobs on the home page, and these jobs will be highlighted to your prospects on their home page and served up to them whenever they're logged into recruiter into LinkedIn. Apologies. And lastly, featured jobs on your career page. So to get the word out about the great new jobs on your careers page, um, so your prospects can easily find them. We also have some further features that will allow you to get your job in front of the right talent. So as you can see on the left hand side there, we have job search capability and a featured job uh, on the home page. So your candidates can actively come in and search for jobs on LinkedIn. 
In the middle snapshot there, you will see relevant candidates will receive an email to the inboxes, and some of you may already be receiving these emails, so you will understand what I'm talking about here, and these will be relevant and targeted to where you're at and your past experience. And lastly, we have a purpose-built jobs app, which you'll see on the right-hand side, and this will allow candidates to search and apply on the go with only a few clicks using their LinkedIn profile. So now the exciting part of the webinar that I'm sure you're all dying to hear about is the sourcing tool um, on LinkedIn. So many of us use LinkedIn to search, whether that be to search for candidates, clients, or um, consultants. On freelinkedin.com, we have access to search within our network, but there is a commercial search limit, limit which can restri restrict your level of access. For those that need stronger search capabilities, we do have a paid search tool called LinkedIn Recruiter. LinkedIn Recruiter gives you access to the entire LinkedIn network without any search restrictions. Other key features of the Recruiter license include filters, projects, in mails and spotlights, which I'll cover off in the coming slides. So, looking more at the search filters, here you can see a snapshot of the differences between free LinkedIn and LinkedIn Recruiter. On LinkedIn Recruiter, you can see it provides an abundance of filters to help you narrow down a search and target only those who you think you can place or you think you can get a job on with. LinkedIn Recruiter is all about helping you target the right people effectively and efficiently. We are constantly adding more filters to the Recruiter license, most recently was the Open to New Opportunities. The Open to New Opportunities filter allows you to narrow down your target market and identify those who want to hear from you now. Other spotlights include past applicants and people who have engaged with your talent brand. So those who have liked, commented, or shared a piece of your content in the past. So warm leads in essence, these are the ones that you wanna be contacting first because they know of your agency. So moving on to in-mails or messages. The differences between free LinkedIn messages and LinkedIn recruiter messages are, on LinkedIn.com, you can only message your first degree connections. If you're using LinkedIn Recruiter though, you can get 100 in-mails a month to message people outside of your current network. If anyone responds, you will get the credit back, so you will have more than 100 in a given month. You can bulk message, which will save you time, and you can use templates, again, all about saving time. So a fun fact, since we were talking about followers earlier, um, followers are twice as um, more likely to respond to an in-mail. So there's just another benefit for followers to, um, the benefit to followers that I forgot to mention earlier. So lastly, um, LinkedIn Recruiter also gives you the ability to manage your jobs, organize your candidates. Um, I just wanted to highlight one of my favorite features, which is the Save Search Alerts. These alerts, um, as you can see over on the right-hand side um, through the screen grab, if, say, for instance, you typically recruit marketing managers and you happen to save a search today and have the alert on, what that means is LinkedIn will rerun that search for you every 24 hours and let you know of new people to the market through, you can see the screenshot there, um, of, of, through a second link, I should say. So LinkedIn can do a bit of work for you while you're out doing what you love, which is meeting candidates, clients, or potential consultants. So in essence, um, just to, to recap on everything, LinkedIn searching tools are in, want to enable you to search faster, so find top talent in less time with an intuitive search experience. Uncover hidden talent, so use dynamic search suggestions to expand and refine your search in new ways and prioritize warm leads, so identify candidates who are more likely to engage with your company. The next generation of recruiter offers a simplified, intuitive experience that empowers anyone to go from searching to hiring in less time. Wow, we've really covered so much today in the session. Um, I really hope that you got a good understanding of what is available 
So we just really want to highlight some key takeaways. So LinkedIn Talent Solutions will allow you to uniquely target both your passive and active candidates. And remember, 70% of the market are passive candidates, and those are actually the candidates that you are wanting to work with um, and to put forward to your next role and to make your next placement of. So it all starts with building your brand, and as we mentioned, building your brand is key. So if you haven't done so already, get started on your company page. And you may even like to use some of the enhanced features such as sponsored updates and your career page to really get your brand known in the market and to really push out to your targeted audience that may not know about you already. Yes, you can use LinkedIn to source candidates, which is useful if you're going to use LinkedIn sporadically. So LinkedIn.com wasn't designed for a full-time recruiter. Um, so if you are a full-time recruiter, what we really recommend is using um, LinkedIn Recruiter so you don't reach those commercial search limits and you are not only searching within your, your network. So LinkedIn Recruiter, as Laura mentioned, allows you to access the entire network across the globe. So remember back to the first slide that we spoke about, 267 million plus members growing at two new members a second. You have the ability to reach out to that entire pool of candidates and clients and even new potential consultants. So Isabel will be sending out these slides um, that have some great tips on them. So please take note of the link below if you would like some more information. I'm going to pass it back over to Isabel for some questions. Great. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks for walking us through all those tools. That was great. Um, I did have a few questions coming through while you were presenting, so I'm going to start with those. So please, um, if you're still on the call and you have some questions on any of the tools that um, Laura and Tracy explained, feel free to send them to me now. Um, one of the questions that came earlier on when you were talking about building a brand, um, so someone's asking, how can you, I guess we get that question quite often, yeah. how can you build your brand with a small, um, smaller budget and a smaller team, like what would, any tips you can share on where to get started or what you can do maybe? So when it comes to building your brand, um, even using the, the free company page, it's so important to plan. Um, I always say to my clients that your website, um, that your company page should be reflective of your website. So the branding that's on your website should be um, front and center on your company page. And then when it comes to content and planning for that, again, as I said, it's all about sitting down and deciding you know, who it is you're trying to get in front of and not posting for the sake of posting, but having a real um, plan towards who you're trying to target and making sure that you're posting um, things that are relevant to that audience so that you can um, capture and engage with them. Great, thanks. Um, and then another similar question was more um, on the company pages. Like what tips can you share um, about what you can post on a company page or what you should post? Yeah, great. So um, as Laura mentioned, planning is key. Um, so what we want to ensure that is you are putting out the right color content to your relevant audience. So um, what we like to say is mixing it up between you know, your industry insights. You also want to show that your company, you know, from a candidate and client perspective, uh, you know, have that human element to you. So feel free to post um, team events that you do. This will also help you to attract um, consultants if that's the route you're going down at the moment. So as well as your job, so definitely post your jobs on your company page. However, it shouldn't be the only thing that you're posting. You really want to make sure that you've got, um, you know, you've seen as thought leaders in the industry. So I guess those would be the top three to start off with. Great, thank you. Um, and then a similar question came through, how much is the cost for a job slot? I guess it's probably more a difficult question. Mm -hmm. um, so there, with the pricing, um, they kind of work in a tiered system. So if you just want to say one, um, they will be 1,600 for the year. But the beauty about the job slots are it's, it's like a car parking space. So you can change what car is in that space as frequently as you see fit. So it's not just one slot that you have. You actually can put up multiple jobs in that slot over the space of the year. So if you're using it effectively, like I would always recommend to rotate the job in the job slot every two weeks so it allows your target market time enough to see it and apply. So for one, again, just to answer the question, um, would be 1,600 for the year. 
Thank you. Um, another question, um, how does LinkedIn Recruiter differ from a Business Plus account? Okay, great. Um, so what we mentioned earlier, your Business Plus account, um, you do have the ability to send some more in-mails. However, with our LinkedIn Recruiter, you've got the ability to pipeline effectively and be a lot more proactive in your um, in, in your recruitment. Um, so it's there's a quicker turnaround and you know there's more speed to market and you'll actually get a, a quicker fill rate that way. Um, you have the ability to access our search insights as well. Um, so this is a great talking point when talking to clients. You have the ability to map your market essentially um, and gain trust from your clients. There's so much more that we can talk about um, on Recruiter, but I won't go into too much of the details. Um, however, you know your, your recruiter is more for your agency um, recruiters and and your business plus is more for if you were, you know, maybe recruiting one role a year. Cool, thanks. Um, then another question. You just mentioned you'd recommend LinkedIn Recruiter for full-time recruiters. I'm an in-house recruiter seeking to hire 30 to 50 positions across the next 12 months. For smaller businesses, what would you recommend? I guess it's a more difficult question. Yeah. Do you want to answer that or should we like... Um, Yep. And the t happy. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Happy great. Answer. Um. Yep. Definitely. Um. In-house recruiters. If you if you're looking to to recruit 30 to 50 roles in the next year, um. As we mentioned earlier, recruiter. What if you set it up effectively, will automate a lot of those processes for you. Um. So you know while you're off interviewing candidates or speaking with um, line managers, it will actually be doing a lot of the work for you. Um. And actually free up some of your time if you if you're using it effectively. So, yep, absolutely recommend um, Recruiter for that. Great. Thanks. And another question, can you still save searches with free accounts? Are there any ways to organize candidates with free accounts? Um, um, yeah, there, there used to be reminders. I guess that's what you explained, the yeah, functionality there. of Recruiter. Um, I believe with the free, there's, um, again, a, a commercial search limit and a limit on the number of searches that you can save. I don't know the exact number, but I'll get, I'll find out, and if you want to follow up with us after, I can give you the exact number. But there's definitely limits. Um, there's also limits um, to the way that you can organize candidates and clients with the free, whereas with the LinkedIn Recruiter License, you've got a, an abundance of ways to organize candidates, clients, and to make it automated, to um, collaborate with team if there's a number of people um, with licenses. So um, it's a lot more effective if, if you're recruiting um, on a full-time basis. Thanks. And then I had a couple questions where people asked about the difference between a recruiter license and recruiter light. Can you just explain that a little more, please? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, I may be sounding like a bit of a stuck record, um, so I apologize for that. Our Recruiter Lite is another one of our online subscriptions, which is designed for you know that HRD who maybe recruits one or two roles a year. Um, there are uh, quite a lot of limitations within Recruiter Lite, um, so our recruiter will give you the full access to everyone on the network, whereas you're quite limited with Recruiter Lite. Um, in terms of that, you know, if you are a business owner, um, the Recruiter Lite is a personal subscription. So if you are a business owner, all that IP and all that data um, will go with the consultant if you are, you know, you will be purchasing it for a consultant. Whereas Recruiter, you will keep all that data to pass on to the next consultant. Um, and in terms of those filters, um, like Laura mentioned, um, there's a lot more uh, that you can do with the full Recruiter. Great, thanks. And then I had a few more questions just coming through regarding LinkedIn Premium and Recruiter. Like, what's the difference, or what do you get out of LinkedIn Premium, or what do you get more out of LinkedIn Recruiter, or maybe when do you recommend using what? I guess that um, goes along the lines of the Business Plus and the Recruiter Lite questions. Um, I guess my area of expertise does lie within the Recruiter product. Um, but going along the same lines, you are you're limited in searching, you're limited in proactively pipelining and sort of collaborating with your um, team members. So, you know, you may find you're reaching out to the same candidate um, and it's not a good look for your brand or for your business. Um, there's so many more, there's a lot of limitations with those premium subs. Um, if you are using, if you are recruiting full time, um, we strongly recommend the recruiter as opposed to your premium product.
Fantastic. Thank you. Um, I guess we covered a lot of the questions that came through. Um, for anyone who wants to find out more um, and more detailed about the products that we showcased, just click on the email that I'll be sending out in the coming days. Um, just click on the Contact Us button and one of our um, account managers will get in touch and they'll explain in detail what would be the best solution for your business and what you can um, get out of it. Um, again, we will be sending out the slides from today's session and also the recording. So if you want to share it with anyone else in your organization or if you've missed a bit, don't worry. Um, I'll send it out in the coming days. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Laura and Tracy, again for the presentation. That was great. And yeah, we hope to see you on another webinar sometime soon. Thanks and goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.